hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is runja patel guys in this video i am going to talk about on submit client script basically uh we'll see that how we can use on submit client script what's the purpose for writing on submit client script right so this is all um scenario we will be discussing right so first of all uh, if you have watched my previous video i have already talked about on load on change right so while loading a form if we need some uh, thing to be done on the form level we can write a on load uh, if uh, something need to be uh, conditional based like uh, let's say while changing a field value we want to make some field mandatory hide and so and read only on that case we can write for on change uh, client script but when we come to on submit then it will apply while submitting a form let's say you have submit your form uh, sorry you have filled your form and now uh, you are going to click on submit button or save button right so if you are clicking that before going to uh, server side if you have written any <coughs> sorry on submit client script then that uh, script will get execute right so here i have written a script um, run when a form is saved update or submitted right and typically used for the field validation so let's say you want to make sure that while uh, closing a ticket uh, someone has to um, means end user has to or basically itl the person who is closing the ticket uh, they has to enter the um work notes right maybe another field like if you are cancelling any ticket then you have to enter the cancel region so in such scenario <coughs> we can uh, write a on submit client script let's see how this will e get executed so users uh, come on the form and uh, they have opened the form they have filled their data over here and they have submitted or save they have tried to um, mm, click on save button um, submit button or update button right so once they do that on submit client script uh, will get executed if it get failed it will control will return back to user and the form will not get submitted right if it is passed then <clears throat> it will go to database means form will get submitted and uh, once uh, database operation happen then control will come back to uh, user again right so uh, let's uh, jump to um, instance and we'll write one submit uh, client script right and we will see that if someone is closing then uh, work note or let's say uh, uh, closure note has to be a mandatory right so what i will do i will click on uh, right click on header here i will go for um, client script right and i will create a new client script make close not and three right so here i'll be writing a on submit and on submit here it will give a like a on load it is giving a on submit so here all the um g underscore form g underscore user these all uh, will work over here right so <clears throat> here what we can do so if we will check first we will get the state value okay where state is equal to g underscore form dot get value right and then we will pass a state so it will give the state value and we will check if state is equal to equal to i believe six then the score form set mandatory field name would check <clears throat> so um, yeah from here we will get the field name and let's see if i'll close it uh, right now it is not happening so i will just copy the those notes 
and then here close node become true and uh, we'll throw a message also something message here yeah, add basically add error message right and uh, those notes something message we can pass on right and end of the day we have to return false right or otherwise yeah so end in the end i'm returning false so that uh, form will not submit right if it if you are not doing it these all message will appear but form will get submitted fine so let's save this one <clears throat> sorry say a state i have not checked what is the value for uh, um, close complete so let's use for the close complete <clears throat> so close complete is three okay so here we have to use three right because it will come a backend value right now uh, if i will refresh it again reload the form <clears throat> and if i will try to <clears throat> close it okay let's say close complete and as of now i'm not giving this information and i'm trying to uh, update the form right so see please fill close notes and it's become a mandatory right so it is working while uh, clicking on this uh, button it is saying it is uh, so let's say i have given and this time if i will say update please fill the Okay. Fine. Okay. It is three. If it is mandatory, turn false. Where it is? Where is the gap? Now. So similar kind of this one we are doing, right? So here we have uh, on submit uh, and the state we are checking cancel result this. And returning false. If three fine, it's becoming a close note. So <clears throat> fill close note or becoming amended. That okay. Okay, let me just uncomment it fine let me just reload it and then what i will do i will try to close it and i will save it the form got saved because we have not put the return right so a return is mandatory we have to put okay <clears throat> right so three is fill the close note okay and return is false okay some logic we have to make it in not all the time we have to return it if it is uh, mandatory is filled it up then no uh, uh, no need to return and if it is not filled it up we have to return it so similar kind of a stuff you have to do okay so hope the concept you have got it right so i have to write a logic to do that one uh, but <clears throat> yeah so that uh, i don't want to uh, spend time on this and even i don't want you to uh, spend time on this you just uh, try to have this scenario write your logic to make things happen while closing the form it should close not should be mandatory but uh, it should not ask again to fill the mandatory field also fine
thank you thanks for watching in the next video we will see uh one last one that is the on sale client script right thank you thanks for watching